Hi, 1CW, Mrs. Chuckran here to read you chapter three of Zelda and Ivy, The Big Picture. Um, just like in the other Zelda and Ivy books, sometimes the chapters don't really have anything to do with each other. Um, so this chapter doesn't have to do with the movie or with secret agents, but it is just another adventure that Zelda, Ivy, and Eugene have together. I hope you enjoy. Chapter three, Plan B. Zelda and Ivy and Eugene spent most of the day getting ready for a camp out. Just before dinner, it started to rain. Rats, said Eugene, we'll have to cancel our camp out. No way, said Zelda. Just like a good secret agent, a good planner always has a backup plan. Here is mine. We're going to have a camp in. What do you think Zelda might mean by a camp in? Camp in, echoed Eugene, but what about s'mores? Don't worry, said Zelda, it's in the plan. And what about stars, said Ivy? I will miss counting the falling stars. Trust the plan, said Zelda. She ran to her desk for a sheet of sticky back stars and stuck them to the ceiling. Voila, she said, the galaxies. Ivy still wasn't sure she liked camping in. The living room smelled like furniture polish, not grass and trees, but she helped set up the sleeping bags. The three campers ate dinner from a cooler. Then Zelda and Ivy's mother lit a fire in the fireplace. That'll work, said Eugene. They sang camp songs and roasted marshmallows. Eugene smiled at Zelda. Good plan, he said, and stuffed another s'more into his mouth. But Ivy sighed. She could hear her dad practicing his oboe in the basement. She had hoped for the rustle of wind in the trees. Still, when it came time to go to sleep, she snuggled into her sleeping bag just like Zelda and Eugene, but she didn't go right to sleep. What do you think Ivy might do if she's not going right to sleep? Let's find out. Ivy shined her flashlight at the sticky back stars and listened to the rain pound on the roof. The stars glinted back. If she squinted, they almost looked real. Then, one star came unglued and floated down to her sleeping bag. Ivy smiled. Look, Zelda, she said, a falling star. Zelda grinned back, just as I planned. I like that chapter because it reminds me of the when grandma gives you a lemon tree book because it rained, which they were really unhappy about, but they were able to make the best out of that situation. I hope you had fun listening to Zelda and Ivy in the big picture. Um, let me know if you liked listening to the chapter books and I can get some more of those to read to you. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.